personally, I wouldn't let him go, but I know a lot of fans would, and that's Martinelli. Oh, that if hurts. a big offer, say Barca come in 75 mil, that 80 hurts. mil for Martinelli. I mean, that for me is a bit great. of a no-brainer. That's a great You know, he scored, what, 11 goals last year as well. He's now 25, he's a former Arsenal player. The academy, he said his dream was to play for Arsenal as well. And he's available if you pay the 60 million pounds as your player. He's just the obvious striker, isn't he? And people say he's not available. You've got to make him available. I'd go big on Mohamed Kudus, people. I would spend up to 85 million on that guy. But where would he start? Great question. Welcome back to another video with the four of us, Christian Ty, Babs, Curtis and I. You'll have seen on the channel, we did a big, good hour discussion on what Arsenal needed to do, what our expectations were, talk about the future, just talk about really what we want to see for the club moving forward. But it's very easy for us to all sit there and go, win a Champions League, just sort of prodding from a distance, win the Premier League, please. We're going to try to bring some ideas I'll write them down here. Five signs we want. I'll write prices down as well. Just have a bit of fun with it. We don't have to put prices down. We're going to write them down. It's a blank piece of paper. Like we haven't written them down yet. So write down five signings that we think will get us over the line. And then we're going to, as a team, you can see there, Arsenal sales. Can you read that? Arsenal sales. We're going to come up with five players as well that we think we need to move on. But who are the most important to move on as well in terms of getting actual money in for the club as well? We're trying to... Try to do Edu's job for him. So let's get them written down. Are we doing most, most expensive to cheapest or? I'm going by position. Okay, position. So you can do what, we can do whatever you want. Most expensive, however you want. Um, and you might be thinking a goalkeeper. I mean, that's definitely in my mind. Um, we've been linked to a defender. So that's probably a player that we'll have to bring in. I'm looking at a midfielder. Mm. We've all been tasked with trying to come up with something a I'll little bit. Inventive as well. I've gone left field with, <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> with one of them. Oh, really? Well. Okay. Yeah, man, it's going to be a shock. Okay. And I'm interested to see what price is that. Like. What do people want to spend big on this summer? Who do people want to spend big on this summer? Um, are we putting prices? All right, let me do it. If you want, and he's just having a rough we, idea. Are, what are we structuring cost? how much we're going to spend? If it comes to like 400 million, it's unrealistic, isn't yeah, it? Basically. Yeah, basically. So it's I mean, got to be yeah. within our budget. Yeah, sort yeah. of. So, um, uh, I don't love my options for my final. Now the Sesco thing's off. I'm like, and we're talking about five signings. Who do you get that like you believe in that is kind of in the middle of Sesco potential, but it's true. You know, isn't a big level below that. I know you're gonna have at least like two names I've never heard of. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. I reckon well. you'll know them. James uh, does his research. Oh, yeah. Which is the other leagues, isn't it? Football management. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is such a left field one. Don't ask me why. He's out of the Euros, isn't it? Um, yeah, he is. Ended. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm about there. I know one player I've got should be at the Euros and isn't. Right. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm good. I've got my players. Has everyone, everyone got this their players? A, hard to get five. Like I got six or seven there. I'm trying yeah, to, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. We've got our five. Got our five. We've got our five. Okay. Christian, I'm going to go to you first. So am I just going through the list? Read us your five, roughly what you think they're going to cost. Give us some inspiration. This All is right. what you think is going to get us over the line. Number four is the left field one, sir. So. Okay. Number one, I've got Isak. Yeah. I think it's pretty obvious. He's a top player. He can score goals. He can hold it up. He can assist. He can make runs. He can run the channels. Everything. Top player, I've said about 125 million. Mm -hmm. um, Probably would cost that. Uh, number two, I've gone Elise. Um, we discussed it on the last one. Maybe it wouldn't be a good signing because if Saka's obviously our virgin and world class winger, would he play? But then we've also said that. Arteta can adapt players, so maybe Elise could play on the left, maybe he could play some sort of midfield Saka's role. Saka's played on the left. Saka's yeah. also played on the left. Um, and just as backup, Elise would be top. I don't think he will go somewhere as backup, but I'd love him. Number three, I've gone for Anana at Everton. Okay. Sure. Um, kind of a party replacement. Um, he starts for Belgium, which I think tells you a lot about the level. I know Belgium haven't got the best squad anymore, but Anana. He's an international player. We've seen him put in big performances at Everton. Last day of the season against us at the Emirates, he was phenomenal. Yeah, he was brilliant. Yeah. Um, very, very good, good player. 
Number four, I've gone for Kobe Mainu yeah. from Manchester good, good United. Getting him. Let me this, explain. Oh, you've just Let upset a lot of Man United fans. I hope I do, right? We need revenge for Robin Van Persie left us, went and won the league at Manchester United. We need revenge for them ruining Alexis Sanchez's career, right? Kobe Mainu, if he knows what's best for his career, he will leave Manchester United. I, I believe... He's already reached the pinnacle of where he's going to go, at least in the next five years at United. He won the FA Cup, scored a nice goal in the final. He's 19 years old. It's time to say goodbye. Come to, come to, come to Arsenal. Time to say goodbye. Look, 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 look. If it's, if, it's, if it's down to the club, obviously there's no way they'll let him go. Do I think he's, there's potential for Maynard to come? No. This is a wish list of players that I think would really improve us and thrive at Arsenal. Menu is is a player is that kind of player. I think he would thrive in a midfield with Rice and Odegaard. Oh, I love him. He's rather a, than a midfield of, of McTominay care. and sixty year old Casemiro, like he's a brilliant player in the in the England squad, international, has played alongside Declan Rice. Kobe Menu, if you're watching this, come and join us. You win the league, you'll play in the Champions League, you won't have to challenge for top four, you won't have to challenge for the Europa League. It'd be a good move, He's mate. saying Kobe Maynard. I'm not sure we can nick Adam Walter. <laughs> I'm going to have to, to you know change what? my list after he said Kobe Maynard. <laughs> Look, we are asked for one left field. Do I think we'll get Maynard? What's Sean Maloney doing these days? But he's some depth in the field. Get him on a free. Only 200 million to spend. Uh, and your fifth player. Look, I know How much do you think he'd cost, by the way? About 90. 90. Right. I reckon. I reckon. You, I, 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 he's I, a boy of <laughs> United fans. Double, United fans right, are double, coming, isn't it? Yeah. Double. Um, I just, yeah. yeah go on. And number five, I've gone for Wharton. Adam Wharton. Oh, Crystal Palace. Get him, isn't yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I put 60, but maybe it'll be a bit more. Um, really, one. really impressed me. <clears throat> Palace form to that towards the end of the season was brilliant. Obviously, there's a reason he's in the England squad. Um, so, yeah, that's my five. Isak, okay. Elise, Anana, Mainu, and Wharton. Okay. Yeah. Three yeah. midfielders. Two, two strikers, yeah. yeah. Where are you yeah. going for Babs? I've changed my list quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah killing him back, hey. We'll yeah, get him straight I'm, from still, I'm still thinking, and price tags is a hard thing. I'm going for opportunities as well. Players that are actually affordable, mm -hmm. you know, and one thing that comes out, and this is little for sure, is, is Eze. £60 million pound release clause at uh, Crystal Palace. And the reason why I say that is because we're talking about a Mill Smith potentially leaving and adding something that we don't have already. And I think a ball carrier midfield, we can pick the ball up and turn and drive, especially in the Champions League, cause issues sure. that way. I think that's the option that I'm looking at going, that for me is a bit great. of a no-brainer. That's a great You know, he scored, what, 11 goals last year as well. He's now 25. He's a former Arsenal player at the academy. He said his dream was to play for Arsenal as well. And he's available. If you pay the £60 million, pounds, he's your player. And I feel mm -hmm. like that's there, something that I want straight away. Mm -hmm. Another one that I think is doable is Onana of Everton. Because I think that, you know, they have to sell players regardless. And I think he'll be available for, what, £30, £40 million. Pounds. You could also go for Fanner instead of Monaco, who's at around 20. And mm. I think he's not that far behind him in terms of quality. So you might go France, but mm. because he's at a Liga, and I think in terms of what Arsenal do next year, ready-made players, I'm not quite sure I might go for the Prem proven player instead. Mm. Up front, I would love Isak, not just because he can play up front, but the fact that he can play out wide on the left-hand side. So you think about in games where you can play Havertz down the middle and have Isak on the left, if Martinelli is out of form and have him Saka on the right as well. I think that's a player also who's got a bit of an arrogance and ego. In the Champions League, he can pick the ball up, and you know we've seen the runs before. You know it is a bit like Thierry Henry at times. I want someone like that. I want that difference maker, that ceiling raiser, and it's going to cost over 100 million pounds. So I'm not quite sure. I've put 100 there, but it's, that's just being mm -hmm. optimistic. Plus, I now can and, I just say on Isak? Yeah, James, you say a lot, and I've heard you talk about it a lot, and you spoke about it the last game when we were watching the double watch along. Mm about the player that can pick the ball up and just ping it in the top corner. Yeah. Isak has that. The yeah. amount of times I've seen him, if, even if it's just outside the box, that finish is there. The you know 25 yard finish is top corner. He has that. So he could be that player. And yeah, I think another left field option I'm going for, and he's a player who looks like he's leaving Bayern, is Alfonso Davies. Now, I'm saying this out of the fact that we it's something that we don't have. Again, we don't have an overlapping fullback that can stay fit. Sorry, Kieran Sini. You know, that can be available and also give us a different dynamic edge. You know, we look, look on the right-hand side and part of the reason why it works so well is Ben White gives us something else on the right-hand side, overlapping Bukayo Saka. We don't have that on the left. Could you imagine Gabriel Martinelli or someone like that and uh, Davies behind them who can bomb forwards and probably play higher up the pitch as well. You've made me change one of my... Uh, and, and the fact that he's he's linked to Real Madrid, so I think he's available for, what, 30, 40 million pounds? Mm -hmm. You can go and sign that. So, and then Maybe I think... that cheap, do you think? I think that's the, the, How the, many the fee we're talking at. 
Have you got five on you? I've got more than five. Oh, I'm just right, trying to I'm go off players of that I think. So I've got Eze, Davies, Isak, and Onana. Yeah, no, yeah. And the fifth one, uh, I'm going to go for... I want someone who you give him the ball, he's a metronome, and in the Champions League, he's my go-to player. And I think that's Frankie De Jong. Yeah. I feel like you look at Barcelona right now and all the uncertainty, they've got a brand new manager and we always know about the financial issues as well. He's a player who I feel like can elevate us to be known for our <clears> on-the-ball ability. We talk about Arsenal and how great we are off the ball, but the great sides are not known for the off-the-ball ability. They're known by how good they are on the ball. And Frankie's a player that's just, he's a talent that you have to have in your team. And if he's available, that's what I want. Yeah, he's a great okay. player. I'd love to Yeah, play. I'm a huge fan of Frankie Dion. Oh. Um Okay, you're up, Curtis. Oh, I thought you was going. I was going to, but I want to hear your first. Oh, all right. I'm, bo- so, I'm bottling it. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've got about eight players on the <laughs> list, but I'll narrow it down. So, Go on. first of all, Isak, I just think he's just the obvious striker, isn't he? And people say he's not available. You've got to make him available. You've got to put an amount of money on the table that makes Newcastle uncomfortable. One that makes him say, I'm putting in a transfer request because Newcastle aren't in Europe. You know, he... It's made for him. Eddie goes, you give Isak the 14 shirt, Arsenal. It's just, it's there, isn't it? But you're going to have to pay big money for him. Um, I did have Eze, but because you wrote him, I've crossed him off because I just want to bring up some different... I love Eze, by the yeah. way. I've gone Javi Simmons. Mm. They're saying he could be available on loan. Um, and I just think he's a great player. He ripped mm-hmm. us apart when he was at PSV. He yeah. scored loads of goals there. He's done well at Leipzig. Apparently PSG are going to loan him out for another year, I think we could do with another ball carrying attacking midfielder to help Odegaard so he'd be alone possibly as well um, defence I've wrote Diamande beast of a centre back I just worry that Gabriel and Saliba play nearly every game last season one's going Copper America one's going to the Euros are you then going to get 38 games out of them again I know we can put Ben White there, you could put, but then it affects the dynamics of yeah, the back four. Rather than putting Ben yeah. White there, you just bring somebody straight in. I think you can get him for about 40, 50 million maybe mm-hmm. from Lisbon. Um, I did write for Fauna from Monaco. I saw him in the pre-season friendly and he was just terrorising us. I've watched yeah. him a few times. He's in the French squad. I think 20 million to yeah. get him out of Monaco. I just think 25 years of age. Yeah, It's Good an shout. absolute bargain. Um, I wrote Elise as well like you said it would be difficult because Saka's there but 60 million and uh, you can who says he has to play on the right maybe he could play on the left maybe Saka who knows you move them around the last one I wrote it's another striker as well it's a bit of a f- forgotten man really but Ivan Tony. I still think in a market where the striker market is very unpredictable People don't know if Osimhen's worth 100 million. Jokeres had one good year in Portugal. Is he worth that kind of money? Sesco's not happening. Ivan Tony's got a 20 goal season in the Premier League. He's 28. He's physical. He's aggressive. Great at penalties. Said he wants to play for Arsenal. I would take Tony. And you know, I think I think he would score a lot of goals with yeah. two young wingers That's and then his aggression in the middle. I think you'd get him for 50 or 60. He's the profile for what we need up front. I yeah. definitely agree. I think we want more guaranteed goals, but that's a good shout. Yeah. 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 So let's go through all your fives and I'll, I'll reveal my five again. So yours was? So I went Isak, uh, Xavi Simmons, Fafana, Elise, Diamande. I did chuck in just Tony as a bonus. Six, if know. we can't get Isak, we'll get Tony. Yeah, all yeah. Right, it's kind go. of a slash on uh, the two strikes. Okay. Don't get him, you get the other one. All right. Babs, yeah. yours five were? So I was Eze. He had 14 on it. <laughs> 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 Eze. Yeah, you're starting 11, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brand new team. Uh, Eze, Isak, Frankie, Onana and Alfonso Davies. Okay, so we've got a left back, two midfielders and two forwards. Is that right? Did I get yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, Isak, Elise, Onana, Menu for the revenge and uh, Adam Wharton. One thing, I said this to you off air, I think defensively, we're okay. I think right back, you've got Ben White, Tommy Asu, and Timber can play there. Mm. Centre backs, if you look at right centre back, you've got Saliba, Ben White can play there, Tommy Asu can play there, Timber could even fill in there. Left centre back, Gabriel, Kivio can play there, Tommy Asu could fill in there, and even maybe Timber. And then left back, if we keep Zinchenko, don't know what's happened with Tierney. Say Tierney goes. You've got Timber can play left back. Tommy can play left back. And Zinchenko can play left back. So uh, personally, that's why I didn't put any defenders on my list because no, I feel yeah. like that's where we've bolstered most. And if we do get someone, it's going to be one of those utility players. But I feel like we have enough of those utility players. I feel like it's the summer where we 
go for the attack. Okay, so I've gone for I'm assuming I've gone for a side differently because I'm assuming Ramsdale's gone. So a backup. We've been linked with Justin Bilo, football manager rates him. So I've just got him in there. He's he's is he Dutch? fine old school. Yeah, yeah, I don't think he's Dutch. Is he Dutch? Is he not? One hundred percent. Anyway, yeah. But anyway, sounds Dutch. Football manager likes him. So. <laughs> That's my backup goal. Oh, we've been linked. I mean, I think the Athletics said that's the, the goalkeeper we're looking at. Now, I did have Joel Hato at around 40 million because, again, we've been linked. But I thought, you mentioned a great point. And it reminded me of a report that Bayern Munich are actually looking to have a little bit of a refresh with yeah. their squad. And there's a lot of good players available, potentially. Joshua Kimmich. It might cost 60 million. I've put 60 million. It probably cost 80. He's only got a year left, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. 28, 28, 28, 28 29. Yeah. But this is a player who can play midfield, can play right back. He can play the right back as an overlapper or he can invert. I thought he was brilliant against us. Yeah. Did a really good yeah. job against Martinelli. And scored against us. And, you know, I think this is one of those players that really puts us to the test. And we're saying, well, we can get basically anyone other than Mbappe and our rivals. Well, Kimmich isn't Mbappe. He's not one of our rivals players. So if he's looking for a move to the Premier League, I'd like to think we're in that conversation. And maybe I'm being a bit delusional, but I think we, I think we could afford his wages. I don't know what they are. Let me know in the comments below. Yeah. But I no, it was that totally unrealistic. It was or reported, I think, by Build early in the season that the five clubs he'd want to go to, Arsenal, one of the clubs. Yeah. So, okay. So, so, yeah, I think it can happen. And, I, I, you know, he's a player that we don't have as well, that experience in the Champions League. Yeah. 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 That's 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 yeah. yeah. You know, you talk about sign. that game against Bayern, you know, for example, away. I felt like we lacked that uh, experience to, you know, yeah. give that player the ball, he knows what he's doing. <clears throat> Kimmich is a player you can do that to, and, you know, alongside more play, experienced players like Jorginho as well, I think he's a great player for the, for the squad as well in terms of behind the scenes. Yeah, you know, in that first se uh, season with Zinchenko kept saying, oh, look what he does in midfield, if only he could defend. And I think Zinchenko, is, I think Kimmich, and I, by the way, I actually liked Zinchenko, I'd give him another year, but we'll come to the sales in a sec. But with Kimmich, I feel like you've got an upgrade in possession and out of possession, like, yeah. and yeah, leadership yeah. and yeah. experience. And he can do what we've been asking Zinchenko to do but with even more technical security. Mm. You can even play your four centre-backs and chuck him in midfield with Rice and Erdegaard. That doesn't feel imbalanced to mm. me. You can play him as a six, you can play him as the eight. I, I, I love Kimmich. Um, if Kimmich came in, because mm. uh, he's right back mainly, right? Right yeah. back inverted mm. into midfield. midfield yeah. To say we did sign Kimmich, does Ben White hold bench? Well, it's difficult because then where it gets awkward is can Gabriel play left back so that Kimmich can invert and then you've still got White, Saliba, Gabriel yeah, yeah. as your back three and build up? Or we'll do what Man City have been doing more of, which is actually just keep Kimmich in midfield and just tell Rice to drop the centre back out of possession. I don't know, but I feel like we were saying in the first video that Arteta needs to just double down what he's been doing, but we know he's going to throw into something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I just wonder, I just think Kimmich... There's also players that if they're available, you just do it. And I think Kimmich is one of them. Um, midfield. This is a weird one. I've gone for Locatelli for a couple of reasons. And I, I've got a little bit of Euro 2021 or Euro 2020 nostalgia with how we played in midfield alongside Jorginho. But you've got a player there who's six foot one. He's got energy. He's got legs. He's got a bit of power with the ball. He's a really neat pass. He can play him as the six. He can play him as the eight. And one thing that Arteta's done is, as much as he's added technical quality to this team, he's added physical quality. Yeah. Like we are physical quality. Is that the term? He's like he's added real presence. Physical. Yeah. And so whoever we get into that midfield, I've liked when it's been Partey, Xhaka. I've liked when it's been Rice. And okay, I don't like Havertz as a midfielder, but at least you know that there's presence in there. So I'd go for a Locatelli. I love De Jong. I'm really tempted by that. I just don't know if we pay his wages. Mm. And Locatelli, he didn't make the Euro squad. I don't think it's re not really gone the way he'd want at Juventus the last few years. I'd go get Locatelli. Um, yeah, any thoughts on that? or just No, no, no yeah, no, good no, player. Really. On De Jong, I think injury problems as well. Yeah. I see he's just yeah. pulled out of the Euros. Yeah. He's had reoccurring oh, injury problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you go. Um, okay. There's been reoccurring Price has gone injury down problems. Bit, it's gone down. Yeah. Um, I think yeah, Locatelli, if we're going to go for someone like that, I think I'd rather go someone that's prem proven because oh, no, I, no, yeah, Lee's one of them. Here, yeah, fair um, I think he's just a little bit up and down. Yeah, I think he's a class act though. But he, is, he is. Now I'm going to just jump a position. So I've got a winger in there. But I'm going to jump to the striker because for me, this or let's call it another forward would be a lone player. So you mentioned Simmons. I didn't even think of. I've added him there. But or um, this is the comment section who are dictating this one. So this is much James's list as the comment section because I've seen other your comments in other videos. Um, I think his name is Vitor Vitor Rock Rocky Rocky, Rocky. Rocky. Oh, yeah. Rocky. Barcelona. from Barcelona, Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. now I know there was a lot of promise with him before when did he arrive at Barcelona it must have been very recent last, last, last season yeah. Yeah. and people are saying this is a serious talent that we should go pick up if we got him on loan 
just, I don't know, just to do a part a job in the squad. If we were willing to get a young striker with a lot of potential, then why not this guy? I've made up that he might be available on loan. He's probably not. Mm. But the reason I'd go for a, a Simmons or a, or a Roque as a front, you know, as a loan forward is actually because I'd go big on Mohamed Kudas, people. I would spend up to 85 minutes on that guy. But where would he start? Great question. <laughs> that's, that's the one thing I said. I want to get... right wing guy. Yeah. I know, but I want to get us to a point where, like City last season, you don't know if Foden's off the left, if he's off the right, if he's playing in the 10, if he's playing in midfield through De Bruyne, if he's playing as a false nine. And Kudus for me is that player, like Sadio Mane was for Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool, where you go, yeah, good player. Okay, I see why they've signed him. But then he explodes and he, he does it off the right, he does it off the left. And then in his last six months, when Diaz came in, he moved to the false nine. I think Kudus is that player who provides the moments we're talking about, like outside the box moments, running through a whole team moments. You know, the, the, the goals that go viral, Kudus gives you that. Mm. Work rate's not a question. A lot of the players I mentioned by the way have been linked with, Locatelli included, but we've wanted Kudus. And I just think if Saka and Marte are in great form, he'll play false nine. If Saka's played a lot of football, maybe carrying an injury, he'll play off the right with Havertz and Martinelli. If Martinelli is in good form, but we need that threatening pace, he'll do it off the left. He's got blistering pace. He's got he's a moments player. He's a good age. He can play across the front three. I, I honestly, and it will sound underwhelming to some, but I would... I'd pay over the odds for Kudus and I think no, he he's can a great grow into a, a I think he can become world class I think right. he can add that wow. explosion they went to him last year didn't they so yeah. there is an interest there for sure mm -hmm. yeah. oh for sure I mean what yeah, happened with top. Salah, Jota, Mane, Diaz not all of them became world class but I'd argue three of them have been put in a world class conversation at some point mm. maybe all of them yeah. and that's because of what the work Jurgen Klopp did with wingers and the system Arte's always worked well with wingers and I think Kudus could absolutely it's interesting none of us put Bruno Gimares down on the list he's got to Man City apparently so is he? Yeah, yeah, done, yeah. yeah I think what, what it is is City are willing to pay the release clause or near yeah. and thereabouts and Arsenal waiting yeah. so I just what don't see it? it happening and I don't feel he's worth 80 million pounds or 100 million pounds I don't think it's worth that money I don't yeah. think he's anywhere de near Declan Rice's level I think he's a good player I'm but I'd rather spend well, 40, 50 on Douglas Luiz instead at that point if you're going to spend he's that going Juventus yeah. isn't he? yeah so so I think a, a key part for me is the pace. We need pace and that's why I've gone for Davies and Isak and even mm. Eze's got a bit of pace as well. I th I we think, need outlets for sure. I think Gimmer is, he'll be second choice for City as well because they wanted Paqueta. Yeah. So yeah. I think they've seen, obviously, Paqueta's been banned. I think they've gone Gimmer is, which well, tells you a lot about... Well, but yeah. 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 What, Sorry, I don't have to get the... Uh... Sorry. I, thought, <laughs> no, no. I, thought it was, I thought it was done. Has he been... Is <laughs> no. I don't know. I think he's still under investigation. Either way, we know yeah. that they wanted him as their first yeah, choice, right? Yeah, it hasn't yeah. been a, a secret yeah. for a couple of years. So the fact that they're now going, all right, we've got to get our second choice. A very, very good player, but again, I don't think worth 100 million. I'd rather take a bit more of a risk on a Nano yeah. or uh, someone like that for the midfield. Okay, so our five sales then. I think we've got to just look at where we feel we can make the most money without hurting yeah. our squad. I and the obvious one... And Ketia. Okay, I wasn't going to yeah, go yeah. to 100%. Yeah. yeah, I think Eddie's the obvious one because he's got value as well, you know. He's a player that mm -hmm. you could get a fair amount for him. How much you know, do you think you could get? In the current market, 20, 20, 30 million pounds. Now, Armando Bruno really is going for, for around 30 million pounds and he's scored six, 30, he's got six yeah, league goals. You know, Fulham have been twenty plus add-ons, maybe. I'd take I'd take yeah. twenty five, but yeah, I think you could yeah. get more. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I think, I you think could... if there if there's a little bid in war, say between West Ham, Fulham. I'm not sure. Not West, I'm not sure West Ham are going for him. I just say there yeah. is because Antonio is on the they way could, out. They might need yeah, a striker. They could, they could. If there's a little bid in war, someone bid, bids twenty five. Someone else goes now. We'll give thirty. Someone goes thirty five. Yeah. I think 35 is a very good price for Nketiah yeah. and not unrealistic. We are, yeah. we're 37 for that. Yeah. I think what we need is Premier League interest because those teams yeah. have the most money. Yeah, yeah. If, it's, if it's to go to the Prem sides, Crystal Palace or whoever like that, and you can do it we can league. demand a high fee, but at least base 20 million pounds. Yeah. Okay, I've yeah. gone in the middle of 25. There was a report we covered on AFT with a breaking news video that Fulham are willing to spend up to 30 million for him. So Give it a Yeah, we'll see if yeah. that if that happens. Um, I'm going to put another one straight in then, that's Ramsdale. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. as much Pretty as we obvious. all like him, I think we all think he's got quality, but the question really around him is not whether we would sell him. I think we all would How because much? you just... You just get another, but yes, how much? So what is the absolute bare minimum to the point where you're like, I'm not even doing this deal. 30 million pounds. This. 30 Same million pounds. I and, I, and I say that because look, we signed him for 25 from a relegated side. Mm -hmm. He went for 20 a year before that from another relegated side. Mm -hmm. So you come to Arsenal, you become an England international, you enter the PFA team of the year, you fight for a title as well. Mm -hmm. Surely your value gets higher. And you've I got long-term contracts. Couldn't so. agree more. I, I honestly wouldn't even do it. If they, they offer 29, I'm saying no. I, I think, it's, I think that's too on, low. Sorry, sit on the bench. Yeah, I, yeah, think a lot really? I, think I think a lot of it will be around what club buys him. If he ends up at a mid-table club, 
or lower, you, you're only going to get 30 odd million. Yeah, Bavs, off the Bavs, table. Bavs makes a great point. Yeah. We signed him for 25 from a relegated club. He had a great season, team of the year. Okay, Arteta decided he wasn't the guy, but he's still a top goalkeeper, reliable goalkeeper. 30 million is way too I'm low in this think, market. I'm just saying that's my bare minimum. Yes, my yeah. bare minimum would be under. between 40 and 45 mil. Wow. Okay. I think you start their negotiations, yeah. you bring it down to 30 minimum. But yeah, he's a, he's a goalkeeper that you can't do anything under what we paid for him. But no, the problem, 100%. I don't think he's going to a, a, a 15 below club between 15 and 20. I think he's going between five and 10. Maybe a Villa, maybe a... Well, Villa no, not a Maybe a Newcastle. Okay, I'm just yeah, saying. I know what you're saying. Newcastle was one that was top half of the table. Chelsea was talking push about Push a Brighton, well. a Chelsea, these kind of clubs. And these clubs can pay 40 mil. If they want a reliable keeper, England international. It's 25, I think. You know? he, he, should, he should be worth 40 mil, but just the way we've done business in the past, you wouldn't yeah, be surprised yeah, yeah. if yeah, it was true. 30 million. He's a player that we have no pressure to sell because we gave yeah. him the contract last season. So yeah. if he stays another year, it's not going to really affect his value that much. Yeah, he might go down a little. I think he'll be desperate yeah, to go. Yeah, he wants to move away. And I feel like he'll have offers. Yeah. And other clubs realise, look, get him in a team. He's 25 years of age. It's a sensible signing for most clubs. So I, I think, think 40 mil would be it would be a bargain for someone to get oh, it would 30 be. million. Yeah, it would be. Would be yeah. 30, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's ridiculous. A bargain. So we're thinking if if the Enketia price is a little bit high with 25, but the Ramsdale's a bit 30, we're looking at around 50 to 60 million pounds raised there. Mm. The next position, who Emil. wants to throw out a name? Smith Rowe. As sad as it is, Emil Smith Rowe. Um, I'm sorry, I'm with him. And, and I feel like it's sad, but also he's probably going to garner the most value. Because he's a player that if anyone does sign, they'll be very excited to sign him. Do you know my thing with Smith Rowe? This yeah. is where I'm at with Smith Rowe. If you sell him and get me at Eze, Javi yeah, Simmons, saying, yeah. I'll let him go. But if you're not bringing me in a quality attacking midfielder, I'm not selling him. The, the only reason I defend him a little bit is a couple of years ago, he had that 10 goal season. Then he had the injury season. Last season, he was actually available the majority of the season. He was just on the bench. Mm -hmm. I write a player off when I watch them play and think, you're not good enough anymore. I don't actually think Smith Rowe played enough football for me to actually judge him and go, you're not good That's enough. Fair. He made two starts. In one of them, he got man of the match. Yeah. So for me, I I would rather see other players leave before him. I get he's got value, mm -hmm. but yeah. I, I'd be I, tempted to What does that value look like? Yeah. To I think at least, at least 40. At least 40 million I think it's got to be 40 million. Yeah, at least. Yeah, because he's a player yeah. that yeah. if Villa sign him, their fans will go, okay, that's a very good sign. You know, yeah. this guy, he's played for England, you know. So, it's interesting. If so, Luis is off, yeah, could, could yeah, that be there will be money there. Point, yeah. You know, West Ham fans, often he talk to clubs of mid-table clubs, they like the idea of Smith Rowe at their club, they get excited mm -hmm. by it. So he's a player, you know, that we could get most yeah, we, money for, but I don't trust his fitness. You know, we talked about him being you maybe... Paqueta, West yeah, Ham. yeah, we talked about him being like not injured over the last season, but I don't agree with that because there was games where he'd start and get injured the next game and he's not available. Was, was it Forrest that he started? The, but this season, I'm Yeah, no, this season. About, he's he only started, started two, and he? Was it the, Forrest The first one against Forrest, yeah. he started, with him, now he's got a chance in the first game and he got injured the next game. It was poor in that game. Yeah, it was all right, yeah, but I don't expect him to, to fly then, straight he away. Start, he's saying he started he's that Luton game. He's not scored a goal for was, Arsenal since he was 2022. Mm. He started that April Luton game was man of the match. He, for me, I was at he the game. Wasn't, yeah, he wasn't yeah, man of the match it. in that game. But it was he more of a, well. let's give it to Smith Rowe. Yeah, his, I think... For me, he wasn't man of the match. I'm a little bit sentimental with Smith Rowe. Yeah, of course. the academy, the Sohong, Emil Smith, Saka and Emil Smith Rowe. I like him as a player, but personally... From what I see, you think he's, he's not the player he was. I, I think there's a bigger problem than that, actually. I kind of agree with you that I think he could get back to the player he was. But actually, I think the biggest problem is I don't see where he fits in any version of Arteta's mm. system in the last two years. Because when he played out on the left, he had Tierney overlapping. Mm. But now the left wing is expected to hug the touchline, do the running that the fullback was doing. So you bring him into midfield and you have this dream scenario of like Rice... Erdegaard Smith Rowe what we ended the season with but it feels imbalanced it feels yeah. like you can get walked through too easily never worked out. Uh, it's never really worked and and you know then you're sort of readdressing Erdegaard's position because you might say well Smith Rowe you play higher and Erdegaard you drop deeper but then you lose his press so then you go well is he a backup to Erdegaard well I think he's very different even though they're both tens but not really um, you know he plays the position very differently I just don't see that's why I've got more patience for Vieira because I actually see how Vieira could come in and try and do what Erdegaard does mm. I don't see how Smith Rowe does but maybe that's on us to get more creative so then yeah. from what I said in the last video right about we're chasing one team in the country and that's Man yeah. City so we're trying to get to their level mm. so Man City's bench should almost be our benchmark of if we have a player if he's not good to get good enough to get on Man City's bench he shouldn't be good enough to get on our bench would Smith Rowe get on Man City's bench? Personally, I think this version of Smith Rowe after injuries wouldn't. 
before the injuries, I think he would. Okay. And that's that's where I'm at. If we can use him as an asset and get 40 mil plus, then personally I'd sell. What else would we do? Now it gets a little bit difficult. So I think these are fairly easy to agree but we could throw out Vieira, we could throw out a defender if we feel that we want to get Give, one out yeah. one hit. Yeah, defenders are hard because we're, I know we've got a few players there and up, but if you take one out like Akivio, left centre back gets weaker, left back gets weaker as well. Yeah. Likewise to Tom. Tommy Ash is the one that I think has the most value because he had interest in Bayern Munich. And again, he's a player that I don't trust again fitness-wise because he gets a few games and gets injured. Even though it was the final game of the year, he kind of went down for a sec. So I was like, you know, there he, there he goes again. That's so the one I'm looking at. scored in that game though. Yeah, he scored. <laughs> that's the issue is he always gives a reason brilliant. to keep him and then a reason to, you know, because uh, he gets yeah. injured. So I disagree. If you, if you had to sell a Tommy. defender, I would be yeah, Kivio for me. Kiv- Kiv- Kivio is Zinchenko. To- Kiv- Tommy Kiv- Yoni oh, yeah, is well, at yeah. the moment an untouchable asset. Like Tommy on his day, yeah, of I think starts in our back four. Until I see Timber have a consistent run where I'm like, okay, he's the guy. Where would you start? I start him left back. Would you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, start in defence next season. I think Timber's and until Tim, in that community. I don't get me wrong. I've seen moments of brilliance from Timber, but mm. my starting defence would be White, Saliba, Gabriel, Tommy. I know Tommy can do it, and if he can stay fit, I believe in him as a player. He can't, he can't can he? That's the true. Any of the see, no, I don't want to sell. Zinchenko I'm thinking about sell? Zinchenko's another one you're looking at. I'm just thinking of who will provide us value. You know, <laughs> yeah. who's going to get us value? Who's going to get us an offer that's like okay, fifty million pounds? For me, him? for me, with Zinchenko, yeah, you're right. if you're not going to play him in midfield. Hmm. Which, yeah. I, which is his best Zinchenko's position the one I'm looking at, Zinchenko right? is not a good left back in my opinion defensively he's, he's a weakness when you play against Arsenal and he's been exposed this year as well in a yeah. lot of big games I think if you're not playing him in midfield yeah. is Zinchenko a good enough left back to he's, keep yeah. I don't think he is you say and I agree that he has been exposed in a lot of big games but mm. he's also played very well in a lot of big games this Liverpool at home season? 3-1 he started that game, yeah, played very, very well. Yeah. There's there's games where he has started and he it gets overlooked and he becomes a bit of a scapegoat for the mistakes he makes. And I get it, 100% I get it. He does make mistakes where you're like, maybe he's not the guy. Maybe he should play in midfield. Personally, I'd keep him. If there was one defender I'd sell, it would probably be Kivio. Mm. But like James, I don't think I'd sell any defenders. The next player I would sell would be Reese Nelson. I just feel like with Zinni, what he did in his first season, yeah, we're going to get to Reese Nelson. Gives him a year. In his first season, I'm like, he was so good in that first so season. Good. And that yeah, doesn't mean he, was. he wasn't torn apart like at times defensively. Yeah. But what he offered us on the ball, and I kept thinking, but if, is it a coincidence that Zinni's form dropped, Martinelli's form dropped, Jesus' form dropped, as we removed Granite Xhaka, yep. who... Just held all together. Just all, yeah. You used to get that so central midfield, that proper eight who sits there and goes, I'm going to receive the ball off Zinni, I'm yeah. going to feed it behind to Martinelli, I'm going to combine with Jesus or Havertz, whoever it is. I honestly think the left-hand side was revived because it wasn't that long ago. We were talking about the left-hand side carrying the right-hand side a yeah. little bit. Yeah, so yeah. I, I want to see one more season of Zinchenko with a proper midfielder. I actually yeah, don't yeah. think Rice, as much as he can play box to box I don't think Rice is the guy to almost do what Jacques was doing on the left side yeah, I think he yeah, could yeah. But, the only issue yeah. is we. I think we gave him a four year contract when he signed Zinni yeah. so, so I think yeah, this is the, this is the best time to sell him oh, out of all our two all, years left out of all our defenders he's the least versatile you know you can't play right yeah. back you can't play centre back so, so what are we saying we've got to sell one defender I feel like I don't have to I don't think we sell we pick whoever five I personally would I feel we will I feel the guy is in Jenko and the reason why is because look, his main strength is progression and we've got players now we'll go, we're will we going to sign players that progress even more and that's why I didn't start at the end of last season you know Odegaard's dropping off deeper allowing us to progress in different ways and you've got yeah. Timber as well I think we replaced Inchenko already we're yeah. a player who's, yeah. we, who's able to play out and you know we're still yeah. forgetting someone Kieran Tierney <laughs> he's gone anyways. I think we've all just that, but he's still all just there, right? given so, up that no, he's going I think we're anyway. talking about the highest value sales yeah. I know I get it but surely you can get 20 mil for Tierney nah, yeah, they were saying 10 million, million the other day no, I, I mean, couldn't believe do you know really? he missed he missed yeah. a 20 game last year of injuries 20 games last year yeah, yeah but Zinni you know missed a lot of games it's kind of a Bellerin situation isn't it I like Tierney as well I do too so this might be pure nostalgia fueling me right now you're keeping him aren't you well, yeah, I'm just, no, just saying yeah. he's, he's going to start yeah. <laughs> I think we need a striker yeah. 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 No, yeah. No, <laughs> no the way I see it is if, if we actually had a 200 million pound budget and we could keep Ramsdale so backup goalkeeper's yeah. done we keep Tierney and 100 million goes on a midfielder and a striker and that's our window yeah. listen I'll take that you know? imagine having Tierney because and Timber as your two left Tierney doesn't have to play every week just are you fit do you want to just overlap on you get more Reese out of Smith Rowe you change the dynamics a little bit and last season we weren't inverting the left back as much no. yeah. Kivio was yeah. holding the touchline at times Tom Yasu was doing that so if you get the fit best version of Tierney 
he, he's the best option we got for that position. Would yeah, you yeah. defend as well? Exactly. I agree. Would you, would you sell it's him for ten million pounds or, or keep him? I think yeah, him yeah. and Kibbe are similar style. Yeah, I think I'd rather keep him. How long has he got on his? Yeah, deal. I think it's maybe one, two years. You know, ah, okay. if it's a year, he's going so, for free next year. So Tears, Tears yeah. not the one. So the, the fact that we loaned him out pretty much says he's going to go. Doesn't want him. Yeah, he's going to go. I got another high value one. You mentioned Reese Nelson, but I think there's somebody to talk about first. That's Thomas Partey. Yeah, yeah, Partey's another one. Can I just say on Partey, one year left, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think Casemiro, one year left or two years left at United? No, he's got like four. Three, yeah, three, yeah three, he's got, oh, yeah, yeah, he signed a longer yeah, deal. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Because yeah. I was hearing Saudi talks for Casemiro, 80, 90 million. I'm yeah. like, yeah, was, they was, can get that for Casemiro. Room. Why can't we was at fake, least get for, for, for me, I'm room. with you. With, pa- with Partey, if 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 there's a Saudi offer and it's like 40, 50 million, it I'm, I'm... It won't be. It will be, we're talking 20 million. Yeah, but Fabinho went million. there for 45 million. He was 29 at the time. I think he had a long contract, season. I'm pretty sure. Surely okay. get at least yeah. I think with Partey, we're talking 20, 30 million pounds. And I think that's fair, by the way, because he's given... Um, it depends on my replacements. I think we will, though. I think Remember last year, he was being linked with Juventus for yeah. like 12 million euros. Yeah, I was exactly. thinking, there's just no in point Europe, taking that. In Europe, you'll go that. for that much, yeah. But I think in terms of Saudi Arabia, yeah. We're talking if it's 20, a European 30, move, 10, 12 yeah. million, I'm yeah. keeping it. I don't think he wants to go. Yeah, I agree. I think he wants he to stay. He doesn't want Because wherever he goes, he's not going to get the 250 grand a week that he gets at Arsenal. So he gets injured a few times, but he still, you know, he lives in London, got 250 grand a week, sits at Arsenal, might even win a title. Why do you want to leave? I, I just think the minute he leaves, we need two midfielders. I agree with that. We need, we need yeah, someone like him and then we still need the yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Anana is a, is a very good replacement for Thomas Partey. Yeah. The only thing I'd say with yeah. Anana on the ball, I don't think he's on the Nah, I rate him on level. the ball. I think if you watched him you know, when he was like in, in Liga, I think you can see him more player, on the ball as well. I think at Everton, he's been doing different stuff yeah. in terms of defensively. Like but before in his Liga days, he used to compare him Paul Pogba because he had a lot of technical ability. So, that's a, that's a, that's 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 you've got a bit, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's what he was compared to as Paul Pogba, you know, a player coming oh, out of France. We've so. heard them comparisons similar style, before, yeah. Similar it? style in terms of that. It's, it's weird because even in terms of, you know, new signings, we talked about Eze. I wonder how much we're going to play a part of, of the youngsters next year, like Ethan Wanyeri, as an example. You know, yeah. as a player who I'm yeah, thinking, I if he's going to be part of the first team, could he be our Foden type player? Mm, slowly getting into it. the team, game by game. I think we need, we need two more sales. So let's let's Reece. let's do a vote and get them in. Reese Nelson, Reece what goes. Saying, fifteen million. I'd sell Reese. I'd take yeah. ten. I'd say yeah, Reese is done yeah, at man. Arsenal. I, I just, I fifteen, think, fifteen. Yeah. fifteen, fifteen to Brighton 15. or to Wolves 20. or someone. I just I think, think his reputation is ten plus five in yeah. yeah, it is. I yeah. think if Brighton won him, then there's a reason why. Okay, fifteen million for Nelson. We need one more. Vieira maybe uh, personally I, I just wouldn't I, keep I think I'd give him one so more many. you're not going to sign Vieira and Smith no, I, Vieira. Would, I would have sold Vieira yeah. above no, Smith no, you're just no. thinking about who else really Vieira is more like to start I'd, I'd keep Vieira for sure I think. what about sorry to interrupt no worries if we're looking f- to raise funds yeah, say we are going for an Eze or someone like that personally I wouldn't let him go but I know a lot of fans would and that's Martinelli oh, that if hurts. a big offer say Barca no. come in 75 mil that 80 hurts, mil for Martinelli I mean, but they won't do it so I, I don't think that's going to happen I feel like yeah, if, if it did if, if it, it did, came then in then I think yeah. we'd regret that massively I, 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 I would have said Martinelli that's, that's an asset where yeah. he has been up and down like, yeah yeah I'm, I'm I can see you know maybe if an offer came in but I don't think it will I feel one that might is Gabriel Jesus that's the only one I'm thinking of that could get a massive that's offer that's a good shot that's, that's the that's only one I'm thinking of that could go and, and he's also he's also our second highest earner that is actually I, I totally forgot about him because I, I don't you've think got goes, Havertz though. and a new striker yeah. there's your two sh- and Trossard I think from what I saw at the end of the season Jesus is going to be the backup to Saka yeah. on the right next year but when you're paying 270 a week you're paying that for a backup that's what I'm thinking but the problem you've got who's going to buy an injury prone 250 grand a week striker I think Jesus yeah you think you still get I think he'll get interest. 30, 25, 30 million. It's 26, or more. I think so. I think they'll be interested. Sure. That yeah. knee injury, man, everyone can see he's not the same player. But I wouldn't sell him. Well, not I still Jesus. wouldn't sell him. I wouldn't. Unless, unless mega money came in, like 50, 60 million. Yeah, yeah. you're going to get that. Because, because, I, just, because no I still way. think his raw attributes... He's, a he very, he's such so a good, good football player, yeah, isn't he? You know, he's, he's, he feels like an asset and he can play both wings. I would put front. that on his final players in Chenko. Okay. I could see an offer coming in. I can see a buy. I put Lukonga here, but none of us think yeah. we're getting no, all, the, all them lone see, players. I could see a yeah, buy going through. You know, do you know what? Someone like yeah. that. He's a player. Company's first season. You know, go go for a player he used to work with. Sorry, Zinni. If I had to lose anyone, it is. If it's a tw- if it's a choice of Martinez for crazy money, Jesus. <sighs> Partey Zinchenko is difficult yeah. because yeah. both injury <laughs> prone, but Partey seems more injury prone. I wouldn't lose anything in defence. But I think we could more easily replace Zinchenko. I think we could more easily get a backup left back yeah. who can do a job yeah. Yeah, than we can bro, get bro. a starting six. When, when Partey starts, he is influential and he's massively. All right. 
what was it, 25 million for Zinni? Yeah, there's yeah, talks I, I, of, of yeah. Right, yeah. company yeah. wanting him at Bayern. Yeah. So well. there's interest there, there's the players that I wanted. So, yeah. so the five, that we, we, we position this as five that we would get money in for the signings as well. Eddie and Ketia, around 25 million rams. They'll for no less than 30. William Smith Rowe, we hope to get 40. Nelson for 15. And Zinchenko for 25. Now, it doesn't mean that they're all for sale, people. Um, we will see what Arsenal do. But there have been little rumours and reports, to be fair, around all five of them. So let's see. We all did as well give our five signings. Kobe Mainu in there, one of them. Isak <laughs> mentioned a few times. Um, and a few out there ones as well. Including a few loan deals. I like the idea of Simmons on loan. If just feels like a no-brainer but let's see a big thank you as always to Christian Ty to Babs to Curtis the links to their channels will be in the description below so go check that out hit the like button if you enjoyed this video subscribe to this channel let us know very importantly in the comment section below what would you do in terms of sales incomings and crucially what we just said there the value for money sales that could actually boost summer incomings let us know we'll see you all very soon